Cause hello, who is Salastero in the house, baby? <laughs> and I'm reading today. Cause hello, who is Salastero in the house? Four, all the signs, baby. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. By the way, OnlyFans, I'm doing y'all read tomorrow. I've been up late. I've been updating my OnlyFans every other day. Go look at that shit. So go join it. All right. OnlyFans.com forward slash Tyler Terrell. All right. My ear is starting to function again. Because for a while I couldn't, it was just clogged, right? So I had, I couldn't pop it. I kept trying to pop it and it wouldn't do anything. So I got in a shower earlier this morning and I just, and I use this device to pop my ear and it worked and now I can hear better. But what's crazy is it keeps kind of clogging again after a few hours. So that's progress. So, ugh. oh, please, Marcus, don't you start your shit. All right. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Like I think my hearing, so my hearing's coming back. Let's go to Aries now. Keep in mind, it says predictions for your current situation. So I'm going to take your current situation and I'm going to predict what will happen with it. It's Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? All right. What is the current situation of the zodiac sign of Aries and how and predict how it will play out? Oh, I'll sh actually, I'll show you the device. Give me one second. Give me just one second. Uh. <laughs> it's this device you put it it looks like something you stick up your ass or your pussy but it actually is, you do like this hold down and it swallow and it pop oh it just popped right there <laughs> it just popped oh that feels so weird it don't hurt it is oh oh my god yeah so there's the device so it has popped just now before I can even swallow. That does not sound right. Okay. All right. Rachel, why did this woman put out another fucking album? When I saw, I was on my Spotify and I'm like, wait, tortured who? Bitch, you ain't tortured. Your white privileged ass ain't tortured. You are not tortured. Tortured what? When I saw that, I'm like, wait, I said, I thought I was seeing things. I'm like, what is that? And then I think what really insulted me, there's 31 songs on it. Who the fuck has time to listen to 31 songs? Like, go on some, just go away. Ugh. All right, please go away. Tortured department, something tortured my ass. All right. Okay. Ugh, I can't stand her. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sometimes I feel like everybody is a hairy baby. <laughs> All right. What is the current situation of Aries right now and how will it play out? All right. <laughs> Your current situation is seven of wands. <clears throat> I think that you are a dumb bitch. Let me tell you why. 
you know, you sit and you act like you can't find anybody, but I don't feel like you're the most open. I feel like you're a very closed off person. I think you're a very fearful person, despite what you try to give off with the full reversed. I'm going to give you another story in a second, but I kind of got to go. And I think one thing that kind of some of you are very hopeless about your love life star reversed. All right. Um, put a little bit more of a pep in your step. All right. Is what I feel, because I feel like for a lot of y'all, there could be opportunities that come along that you push away or that you're very closed off to. All right. And then have the nerve to complain. You can't find nothing. All right. Now, I was getting something about a person that you may already know about. Um, but this person could be spying on you. All right. With the full reverse, why is this full reverse and spy here? Giving it time. Love spell. Not literally that somebody putting this love spell on you, but it's almost like there's a person here that feels like they ain't doing shit. What's their actions toward you? What's their actions toward you? Page of Swords. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Page of Swords. They're stalking like a motherfucker. Look, they, the. Clarifying the page of swords, or sorry, the spy is page of swords. That's their actions towards you. Like it's clarifying the fool reversed. It makes me think for some of you, why are they spying? So they sit and watch and not making moves, they're just watching you. I think this is somebody that you are closed off from. You even have this um thought in your head, you go. I already know what I'm going to do to reject that motherfucker or that bitch. I already know what I'm going to do. I already know I'm going to stay closed off to that. I already know what I'm going to say. You have, you, it's almost like you have this game plan in your head, what you're going to do when they do something. Does that make any sense to you? It should. Why is this person stalking? They're watching you on social media. If this person is has connections, that ain't what it seems, all right? If it's not saying that, then what? How, why does this person watch? They feel like you're a part of them. It's like They feel like you're like a soulmate of theirs or somebody that, wow. You know what? Somebody was playing... <sighs> Somebody was being very indecisive. I don't know who walked away, but what I get is for some of you, somebody feel like, realizes they're missing something, but they don't know what they want or they can't make a choice, whether it's a choice between people or a choice to commit or not. I don't know. Who is this person? It's some attractive person that you're very into. This person may like attention or get attention. It says on stage, shining, adored. Oh, my God, they feel like a strong connection to you. Pure love, honest connection. They have nerdy thoughts about you. Why is, why is the star reversed the prediction for this situation? So there's somebody here that feels hopeless about this. The moon reversed. Somebody's going to reveal they want a commitment. Somebody's going to reveal that they want a commitment. You know what's so funny? By the time somebody reveals somebody want reveals that they want a commitment, the other person just isn't hope, hopeful about it. So I don't know if that's you or that. I don't know. Who gives a fuck at the end of the day, right? I think somebody's going to reveal they want to be with you. It literally says moon reverse, which is about something being revealed and the nine of pentacles reversed, like something being revealed about somebody wanting commitment or wanting to be with you, something like that. All right. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to predict. But I'm telling you this, if this is your story, this person watches and stalks. Why is Page of Swords their future actions? They're going to go to Taurus.
I th- look, okay, I don't know who this is. I don't know if it's you or them. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say this. The reason why somebody's stalking because they're realizing that, oh shit, I need to make a decision about that before that gets out of my life. Ridiculous! Right? Tell me it's right. I think it is. I think I'm right. Because I keep asking, why are you stalking? Because it says two of wands reverse. Because they're like going, oh shit, I'm at a crossroads. I don't know how to make a choice. I know I need to make a choice. Something like that. Let's go to Taurus. Uh. (laughs) shut the fuck up ugly all right i ain't gonna point you out but shut the fuck up I thought a dick should have been in your mouth. That should shut you the fuck up. All right. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, let's go to let's go to Taurus. All right, let's go to Taurus. You've got company. Make sure you look your best. You may have this person as company or the new person when you're gonna have company. Make sure you're looking your best, all right? All right, let's do this. <laughs> all right. Somebody gets out of jail or gets out of a legal thing? Who gives a fuck? Shouldn't have did what you did to get there in the first place. You, you freaking, you see what I'm saying? You crime committing bitch. I don't know who that's for. All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. Let's go to Taurus. What is the current situation of Taurus and how and predict how that situation will play out? All right. All right. Justice, ain't that funny? I just thought it doesn't have to be legal. So it could be involving a Libra. If not, let's see. Whoa, judgment. Can you shut the fuck up? Like, and I'm not saying that to you now. I'm actually talking to your future self. And I'm going to ask your future self to shut the fuck up and put a sock in it. Let me tell you why I'm telling you to shut the fuck up. You will have a second chance and you'll be happy that it repeats. You'll act like you're not happy, but you will be. Yes! You will be over the moon, but you won't show it. You'll at least try to downplay that you're happy, correct? Yes! You got justice. You got judgment, why it's all happening. I think there's going to be apologies and a reconciliation. You will hold back more this time but you'll be over the moon that it repeats. Absolutely, you will. (laughs) Let's see, here we go. You need to be careful with this person though, because I feel like this person is a two-timer. May even be in the polyamory, if not just a two-timer, all right? Be careful. Be careful of the monster you feed. You can't go signing a deal with the devil and then get mad when the devil comes back to collect, correct? I got that from one of my other favorite YouTubers. They will try to play it off genuinely, but I think that there's there's some two-timing slut is what they are. Could be your age or younger, or they're just immature as fuck, all right? Could even try to friends on you again. You need to be careful with this one. Be careful with this one. Be careful. Uh, 
How does this person feel about Taurus? See, what prompts them to keep wanting to deal with you because they don't want to see you with somebody else, but they don't want to act right. You can't have your cake and eat it too, correct? And this could be to a cross watcher of Taurus that dealt with a Taurus like this. All right, so please, um, person could have addictions or if it's not literally addictions, then what could that be? Their addiction is keeping you stuck, but they don't plan to settle down. What, what keeps them leeching off of you, not leeching, I won't say leeching, but what keeps them... What keeps them wanting to deal with you is the thought of you ending up with somebody else and they don't want to lose that access to you, but still not wanting to settle down or wanting to act right or whatever the case may be. It's like a wanting your cake and eat it too type of situation. You gotta be careful with them. Did I get you being happy? It repeats. And you know what's sad that you know how they are, but you're happy that it's like repeating or back in your life. That's the sad part. You need to find a hobby. Somebody said, be careful with me. I I like that song. I was actually thinking about that when I was reading this. But if I did the slightest sly, find a, oh, if I did the slightest sly, find an N word, suck it, you would have been, but that's not my ammo. I'm not that type of bitch. The karma for you is going to be who you end up with. Some of the karma for them is who they're going to end up with. Some of you will be able to see their karma play out by them being done wrong by somebody in their future that you, ooh, I may have a message in it. Stop trying to be important, the girl next door, all right? If you were next door, I'd move the fuck out of the neighborhood, to be honest. If you were next door, I would literally, I would pack up and leave. I wouldn't even stay in this motherfucker, all right? I'd pack up and go where the fucking sun don't shine, all right? I'd go to a one-horse town before I'd live next to you, all right? <laughs> Why is the outcome the Four of Pentacles? I am telling you, do not give this person another chance. They are still involved. You may even find out they're involved with other people more than what you thought. More may be revealed if you entertain it again. What kind of question is that? All right, here we go. Uh, it's funny you mentioned New York because I may be doing a meet and greet there. Um, I didn't want to announce it until I got the final shit, but I'm planning uh, meet and greets and New York came up because of something that came up. So, um, but I'm not saying that's for sure, but I do know the East Coast. I'm trying to get Atlanta because I haven't got Atlanta yet for a meet and greet. I've gotten Orlando, Los Angeles. I did two California meetups. I did Texas, um, Orlando. I did New York. And New York had a big show out. Even when I was only at 200,000 subscribers, 60 plus, 60, like 70 people showed up still. I'm like, damn, imagine if I did one now, maybe more would show up, you know? But uh, I'm currently, I actually just sent an email out this morning to somebody from New York. And so, uh, We'll see how that goes. And I'm also trying Atlanta as well. All right. I'm going to try to get Atlanta first, but I've been really wanting to go to the north again, you know, but we'll see. We will see. I almost got in my car this morning and did a road trip. I was so tired of, um, I'm tired of Las Vegas. I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of looking at Las Vegas. I'm tired of the desert, you know. Um, but let's go to Gemini now. Vegas, y'all don't show up and show out. My thing is y'all won't like help me get it. Uh, y'all won't help me get it 
uh, organized. Y'all need to come forward. We need to have an ambassador for Nevada and say, hey, I know where you can do this. I'll help you plan it. If I have to pay a fee, I'll pay it, you know, me. But y'all got to show up and show out. Most of, actually, majority of the places I did meet and greets for was because people helped plan it and I just showed up. All, all, all I want my job to be, all I want my job to be is to show up. So I'm saying. Let's go to Gemini. I love doing meet and greets, so I love doing those. So. All right. What? Okay. What is the current situation of Gemini and how it, and what's the prediction for that? Actually, all my meetups were were initiated because of people coming forward saying, hey, Tyler, I know where you can meet and I have this place or I have this facility or I have this metaphysical shop. It was always done by the people. So y'all need to come forward. You need to do your part. Like I'm, I'm doing it for free. All I'm going to do is show up. You know, it's a good tax write off as far as like a plane ticket and then any expenses that I have while I'm there. So all you got to do, you, you got to do that. If you want me to show up in your city. You have to send me an email, T-Y-L-E-R-S-T-A-R-O-T at gmail.com. If you know anybody that has a metaphysical shop, I prefer to do it at a metaphysical shop. But if you have a like a place we can meet, if you can be that person, I'll show up. Okay. Thanks, Snickers05. Thank you so much. What's the current situation of Gemini? The star reverse could be something involving an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Page of Wands. I get you communicating with someone that you don't have much faith in, but I get you communicating with them. I don't I don't know if they're new or not. If it's a new person, some of you are already hopeless about it. But if it's somebody that you already know, I feel like they could there could be messages. To, okay, Nine of Swords. Why am I getting you in communication with someone who stresses you? Because you already know the outcome of you too. Thanks, Jessica Bola, as always. What a star reverse. I get fire sign. I get Aquarius. I get air sign. It's either somebody you're with or that's the goal. You're so hopeless that this will be anything. But I get you communicate with them. What a page of wands. So whether, okay, Ace of Cups. Okay, I don't know if it's a new star. I just get whoever you're going to be communicating with, their intention is to have love with you or to have like a thanks Chrissy for that what stresses you about it is how either slow they go or how slow they will go so I'm going to predict you in communication with someone I even get some of you having a new a new lover come in I'm going to predict a new lover what's going to stress you is how slow it moves now some of you is somebody that you're reconnecting with with that ace of cups all right um if it is somebody you know then how does this person feel I'm a coward. I regret it. They have regrets about you. They have regrets about the way they moved towards you initially. I hold so much inside. Some of the regret that they held so much back from you or didn't express much. Some of you, they regret the way they spoke to you or talked to you or the way they treated you. This is a very specific story. So if you didn't get, if you didn't, if you don't find this your story, don't make it apply. I do predict a new love for you coming in that you're hopeless about because you feel like it's going too slow or you just apply the same filter to everybody like, oh, it ain't going to work, but I'll entertain it. Watch out for that because you you are what you speak about. All right. You will become what you speak about or you'll, you know, you see what I'm saying. Now, I get something about you communicate with someone and I feel like they have regrets. They could regret things they said to you because I, I asked what they regretted. It says big mouth. They regret the way they spoke to you, talked to you or the way they acted. So remember, I get them regretting that they didn't what, what that they held back a lot. But I get you in communication, but I'm kind of like, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to entertain this person with, you know, with when they come in or when they come towards you or they're already coming towards you. Because I feel like what's going to stress you is how slow they're still moving. All right. It makes me think that you dealt with them being slow before. All right. 
Is this making sense to anybody? Yeah, they're going to be courting you soon. They come up as a fire sign. They don't have to be. This person knows they're attractive. They think they are. They think they're the like the shit. I also get a new love. I can't discount new love coming in. You're going to do something different with your hair? Or they will. They'll do something, something different about somebody's hair. They're going to be different. Who gives a fuck? Yes, my hearing is like 75, 85% back. Sure is. Oh, that's not good. Some of you, this person's still figuring their sexuality out, or you are. Some of you, this person may like to suck on dicks or eat pussies, all right? Whether some of you, they have a pussy, but they want to go down on another pussy, or they have a dick and they want another one to go down on. I'm not, I'm not being disgusting. Shut up! I can talk how I want. If that's not the case, then if it's not sexuality, there's another group of Gemini, then what is it? What is their problem? That doesn't tell me much. If it's not the sexuality thing, then let's go to the other group of them. Too much waiting. If you know that sexuality is not a problem, here's the problem. It's too much waiting and not enough action. That's the problem. It's too much waiting. You ain't got you ain't getting any younger, are you? So I'm saying you're not getting any younger. You're not getting any younger. Because I keep getting that this situation requires a lot of waiting. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm going to meet somebody from Atlanta or Georgia or from the south, the south of wherever you are, whether it's another country or the USA. Who gives a fuck? All right, here we go. You may meet somebody from the southern hemispheres. All right. So I got Peter Street in my head. I don't know why Peter Street. <laughs> Look, okay. I'm from Atlanta. Just go along with it. All right. Okay. Sometimes how I get references is how I grew up. So, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. You know where I would move to if it had better houses, uh, New Orleans? Because I love the trash of New Orleans. Fucking trash is what it is. Fucking trash. And I like it. Because when I went there, I fell in love with the city. I mean, voodoo, voodoo shops, trash, voodoo rituals. I love it. Bring more of it to me. Bring it more. I need to do like a little series where I have, like I hire somebody, like a camera person to go around with me and to celebrate weird religions with people. I'm not gonna do the religions, but I like to have the camera follow me around. Like I'd love to go to a polygamous household and see how they work, what they do, and kind of add my trashy commentary. Go to the Church of Satan and watch them do their sacrifices. I would love to do stuff like that and, and film it or go to a Christian, well, actually I've been there. I don't wanna go to a Christian church. I think I'd be more afraid to go to a Christian church than a Satan church, Jesus. But I would love to have like a little series, like a little vlog where I go and uh, people invite me to go and, uh, watch their rituals and whatever that may be. I want to see a Satan ritual. I want to see a voodoo ritual. You see what I'm saying? I want to see all that and, you know, add my commentary. That'd be a good little series. Somebody's going to probably take that and run with it. <laughs> yeah, I can go to a black Christian church. I was raised in the black Christian church, but I would go and you see what I'm saying? That'd be a good little series. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I love to watch the trash being done. You know, like I would love something like that. 
Okay, let's go to uh, cancer. I don't even know why I have that random thought. Thanks, Chrissy, for the 20. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jessica Bolo. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sneakers05. Thank you so much. Let's go to cancer now. I've been to Salem, Massachusetts, actually. I've been there. Sure have. <clears throat> you remember all them bitches was accusing the whole town of witchcraft, people sending their spirits. What a bunch of dumb bitches. Got all them people killed. Got all them bitches killed over some lies. The damn Salem witch trail. Everybody was fingering everybody. That does not sound right. You know, let's go to cancer. Let's go to cancer now. Let's go to cancer now. I got, I saw a movie about that, The Crucible, where it was going, she sent her spirit to me in the middle of the night. Bitch, shut up. Bitch. Here we go. I don't even think the people at the Salem Witch Trials were even doing witchcraft. They were just different. And then people just assumed that they were witches because they were just different than the rest of the town. That's what I really believe. I don't believe they were actually witches. Who gives a fuck? All right, here we go. Could you imagine living, living in those times? No internet, no cars. I mean, a horse and buggy. Boring. All right. Nothing to do. All right. Let's do it. Let's go to Cantor now. Why are we talking about this? Who cares? Some of you may get accused of being a witch because you're different beliefs for me to be. Thanks for the two uh, multi hustle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Austin, Texas. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's go to, uh, here we go. What's the current situation of cancer and how will it play out? I did not watch the Pope's exorcist. I don't believe people get possessed by devils and demons. Hogwash. I think the devil has a lot more to do and more important things than to worry about it possessing some dumb bitch that think that has schizophrenia. I really believe that. Anybody, no bitch, you got schizophrenia. It ain't Beelzebub or Satan or whoever. No bitch, you're you're schizophrenic and you need some medication. You are there is no you are not important. You're so important that the devil has personal time to possess you and dedicate all this time to you when he has a whole underworld and the fire and brimstone to worry about. But he's so worried about you. And I really find that really hard to believe. And I don't believe the Annabelle doll is real. I don't. I think that Ed and Lorraine Warren were like two frauds. I'm going to be real with you. I think that they, so like I always joke, and this is my thing about Ed and Lorraine Warren. They lost all credibility for me. All right. I just don't believe it. Like it, they thought everything was possessed by the devil. I always joke and say a family could have called them and said, my toilet is making horrible noises. It's it literally gurgles and gargles. I think, and they would go to the house and probably say, it's the toilet demon. Uh, it's the toilet demon. I'm let's take, and then we'll, okay, okay, if it's so possessed and evil, why did you take it back to your museum to put on display if it's so evil? Why didn't you demolish the item? <laughs> They just, I just think Ed and Lorraine Warren is full of shit. I don't think that they were like real demonologists. I think that they were more sensationalist than anything. And then I think is if, okay, if, if it's so, if all these things that you have in your museum is so demonic and all this stuff, then why are you keeping it? And why is it in your house? So I don't believe Ed and Lorraine Warren. And the way they dedicate all these movies to them, the, the conjurings, I'm like, no, do not celebrate them, people. They do not. All right. Why are we talking about this? Let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I don't believe the Annabelle doll is, there ain't nothing wrong with that doll. So I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with that doll. It's a, re a regular Raggedy Ann doll that has a bunch of hype around it. Ain't nothing wrong with that damn thing. So, all right. <laughs> stop. Let me shut up now. Let's get to cancer now. I already shuffled your card, but I see you have a good one, all right? Oh, shit. Cancer. You gonna get some dick or some pussy? I'll tell you that. Sorry to be disgusting, but you will be. I even get a short-lived fling for you, for you ones that are single. <laughs> what?
why am I getting you get some wiener or some pussy in the future? I don't know if it's somebody that you get. I got a fire sign in your future as well. I don't know if this is predicting someone. Now, let's say you're dealing with somebody right now. So what's the current state of you and this person right now? Three of Cups. You're about to either, one, reunite with them, Six of Swords, or some of you, this person's coming back around, or they're already around you, or they will be. And I get you, I get them digging you down, they're pussy, pussying you down. Why am I getting that? You about to fuck somebody? Is it makeup sex? I don't know what it is. Is it somebody you've been dating, or is it somebody that's coming in? I don't know. I can only tell you the energy. So I'm saying, I can only tell you the energy. Um... And how, what you do with energy is what you do with it. <clears throat> what is this? Somebody, if this is somebody you know, now the Six of Swords Reverse did come out for them and the Three of Cups. Is this somebody that you're getting together with in the future or reuniting with? I don't know. It says coming back and reuniting. Is there a, is there a, is this makeup sex? Is this just you two having a sexual experience? I don't know. Well, thank you, Yvonne. I'd like to thank that. How does this person feel about cancer? If this is not somebody that you know, just know your next, you got a fling coming in with a fire sign or a water sign. They don't have to be those exact signs, but they really do come. Oh, okay. All right. Whenever something goes wrong, I just run back to you. You can't be somebody's safe haven. I don't know if that, I don't even know if that's the word. I, you can't let somebody come back to you when they need you only. See, you should want something that goes both ways. That's my problem. You're too smart for my games. It's annoying. This person knows that you know they're a game player or somebody that's phony or fraudulent. All right. I think they know that you know that. All right. I think they also feel like you have a soft spot for them. Hence why you deal with them or why they think that you'll deal with them. This is very specific. I don't see a lot of people applying to this. I don't see a lot of people applying to this. I think that you also got a new connection coming in that's sexual in nature. I'm going to be real with you. I really believe that. Now, here's another thing. Some of you, some of you going to buy a home in the future, or a new house. Now, if it's not that, do you know some of you that some of you there will, this is going to get to the extreme of they're trying to live with you or you live with them. I said it. Or your new person could be somebody where it could grow. It looks like it's flingish, but it could even be talks of moving in. What is this talking about? Some of you will get some black dick or black pussy or somebody that's darker. Some of you will be taking a ride down the, you know, woo. To my white subscribers, some of you are going to be going down the, you know, the, you know, you're going to be a checkered board whore. For you ones that are already of color, look, well, you got another person of color. What is this talking about? Why is your reading so weird? I don't know if they're like literally a dark male or female or if it's just saying they're darker than you. All right. It could just be a tan skinned person, a tan, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. All right. Now, if you're not dealing with somebody of color right now, some of you, your future persons of color. All right. But some of you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You really believe, yeah, I have a lot of jealous people. A lot of the people that pop up back into my life are jealous and just want to be a part of my gravy train that they feel like I'm on, all right? And guess what? You ain't getting a damn dime of my money. I sound like Mr. from Color Purple. You ain't getting a damn dime of my money. I should have aborted your motherfucking ass, all right? I should have aborted your motherfucking ass. That's, why, that's the way I put it. You ain't getting a damn dear dime of my money, all right? Just putting that out there. Because why else do you want to be in my life? It ain't my looks. So I'm saying. So 
<laughs> but yeah, cancer. It looks like you got like a little flingy thing coming in. But why am I getting? So I, I don't know. I don't know what you're reading, trying to say. I just know that there's like an interesting thing coming up for you. All right, with somebody very interesting. There's no interesting at Tyler's Tarot. You got like something sexual. I don't know if they're new, old, kind of know them, kind of don't. I don't know. You tell me when you deal with them, all right? Who gives a flying fuck, right? Let's go to... Uh... Thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks for the two sneakers. Let's go to Leo now. What do you predict coming up for me? Who's in my energy? What's coming up for me? And I'm going to wait. Because y'all always want to do predictions. Well, predict. Oh, my God. That's so weird. It pops your ear. This thing helped me a lot. It, it took a 10-day congestion, a 10-day stuffed ears. It popped out of my ear. Okay, Enchanted. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, literally, I can hear again. Between doing this and this, I can hear again. I couldn't hear for like 10, 10 days. What are you saying? No, what are you saying? Don't say nothing to me. Somebody wants me back. All right, here we go. I'm tired, y'all. Let's go to Leo now. I'm tired. Here we go. Okay, what is the current situation? I almost said who is the current. Somebody said who this is about. What's the current situation you're dealing with and how will it play out? Will there be a World War Three? Probably not in our lifetime. Probably years off in the future. I don't know. Damn, this Ace of Wands sure is coming out for a lot of people today. Damn. Some of you gonna be screwing another Leo or a fire sign, or you got love and sex and rock and roll coming in. I love your read. Look at this. Ace of Wands, Strength Card, and Knight of Cups all upright. So you're about to end up in a love situation with dick attached to it or coochie attached to it. There's a lot of sexual energy here. All right. How will they know when they've met this person or if they've met them? Water sign, fire sign. Yeah. World reverse. Could be somebody that you have unfinished business with. Possibly. Could he be somebody that had options or has options? Right now, they're holding back. I think somebody's really into you. They're holding back. Somebody's going to, the outcome is somebody expressing their love or emotions. Somebody it's their wish to express emotions like they know they want to. Who gives a fuck? You got somebody new coming in. Would you let me do the read? There you go. Asked and answered. 
Whoever this is wants to fuck you and screw you. I'm sorry the readings are so nasty today. They're just nasty today. Some of you, the issue is long distance or somebody being emotionally distant. But it's, I don't care how they're acting. They want you. They want to screw you. They want to do you. They think about you sexually. Every card is sexual. Ace of Wands, intimacy. It's either somebody you do know or somebody you're about to get to know. All right, is what I feel. Describe who this person is. Gift. Like you may even have a love language of gifting things. If not, how, what does that mean? Attractive person. You'll be into them or you're going to be. Because <clears throat> I am beautiful no matter what they say. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, God, I'm ticking like bad today. Shut up, Tyler. Shut up. I don't want to be friends. I don't know if there was a friend zone or will be, but somebody wants more than friendship or what they're acting. I don't know if it's friendship. They want more than what they're letting on, is what I'm trying to say. All right. I don't know who this is. I don't know if they're new, old. I don't know. It's kind of like similar to Cancer's read. I don't know. That's why we. That's why you come to me for predictions. You don't want to always want to know what's going on right now. You want to know what's coming up. Correct. Tell me it's correct. You know what I'm saying. It leads me to believe it's somebody that you already know of. If not, you're going to get to know them pretty quickly. All right, is what I feel. Oh, I have a lot of people that want to fuck me on my travels. That's so funny. Every time I travel, tell her, stop by this and let's do this and do that. No. All right. That is funny. I don't know why I've been so trashy lately. You know what really gives me a, a, a laugh when people like I personally know when like when I you know try to make friends or whatnot and they try to act like they have all these options. Right. And then they see how full my inbox is. They see how people throw themselves at me. You're not important. What pisses me off is how good I'm doing. Right. Not not that don't piss me off. Here's my problem. I hate when I befriend new people like in my personal life. And they try to do everything to one up me. You're not gonna one up me. I got way more going on. How are you gonna one up me? But you go home to a shack. You at my place. This place costs a lot, and you trying to one up me, and then you try to act like you got all these options. But look at my inbox. I had to take my Instagram down just for the sex pictures alone, pussy pics, dick pics, all that. But you act like you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop being important. Like, and that's, and I'm not, and this is on a personal level. When I say to you, and you think I'm just being trashy, which is partially true. But I'm telling you, I hate that now everybody tries to one-up me. Everybody tries to one-up me. And it's like, you're not going to one-up me because my bank account, you don't match my bank account. You don't match where I live. You don't match the car I drive. All right. You don't even match the car that's coming in that I already reserved the cyber truck, which they get rid of these damn recalls. You ain't important. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that from arrogance. I'm saying this on a personal level. If you see the people that I deal with and they'll try to act like they got all this going on. No, you don't. So, no, you don't. Okay. What, what? Be begging me. Will you send me an email to T Y L E R S T A R O T at gmail.com? I K peace. All right. Who gives a shit, right? Let's get back to the read now because I did kind of interrupt you. That's my problem. I'm sorry about that. All right. Okay. So for these people in my personal life, and I know they watch, that's my problem because you can't come to my house, sit on this motherfucking couch, and act like you ain't been watching me because you let it slip. 
Slip! Who gives a fuck? Oh, by the way, I saw it, but I thought you weren't watching me. And you got the nerve to come to my house and sit on my couch and sit in my movie theater and act like you act like I'm not important. And then you try to one up me. You can't one up me. In this life and the next three lives and in your previous three lives, I've always been better than you and I always will be. You'll never outdo me, bitch. You see what I'm saying? So that's my competitive vibe coming out. Now let's get back to the read now. Let's get back. To, if you see the people that sit on my couch and sit in my movie theater and sit in my jacuzzi and sit in my pool and the way they act like they it's like, why do you have to bring out that competitiveness? Why even bring it there? Why even take it there? Because I outdo you by leaps and bounds. And it bothers me. Then they'll fall off the map. They'll sit and watch me on here. So I'm saying and then have the nerve to try to come back in my life and sit on my couch again and talk this shit. Stop playing. We almost got the fighting, like I said. No, we actually almost got into fighting. So I'm saying, stop playing. Stop thinking that you've got a better life than me, because you don't. It's it's okay. You don't have a better life than me. So I'm saying, so. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to the read. Let me shut up now. I'm gonna do you a little bonus for all this talking. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> oh, people on the west coast are so fake that's all i'll put i'll leave it at that all right okay shut up stop talking to me why are you talking to me for for that person all right let's get back to the read now because i know you're gonna bitch about this all right okay As I said, because I'm going to do a bonus read, as I said, there's somebody coming in for you. I get love and sex with this person, all right? I get that they're an attractive person or you'll find them attractive. I'm leaning more towards somebody you may already know or that you're going to get to know pretty quick, all right? I don't think you can miss this person. They're like really coming up with a sex or energy, emotional energy. And if somebody's been holding back from you, I get them actually revealing what they want with you. Like I get them expressing their feelings. Eventually, are you expressing it to them, all right, is what I feel. Who gives a fuck? I get them like showing their interests, like what they want sexually, emotionally, whatever the case may be. I really get that for you. All right. Let's go to your second spread because I kind of interrupted that. And then we'll go to Virgo. Susan, didn't you just say that same comment yesterday? OK, wash, rinse, repeat. You already made your you already said that yesterday. If you're going to insult, at least make it a different insult. Why won't you sit down and shut up? Why don't you sit your ass down and shut up? You probably ain't been using your Wi-Fi connection to talk shit. You probably ain't even paid your phone, though. You're probably sitting at the public library on their public Wi-Fi to talk that shit that you can't afford a fucking prepaid phone card, all right, to get your 5G back. So you're probably sitting there either in the McDonald's parking lot for their, in their Wi-Fi or the freaking, uh, you know what I'm saying, our library's Wi-Fi. Give it up, all right? Give it up. So... Let's get back to, you just said that comment the other day. And you're the same person. You just said that other day. All right. Let's go to your second spread now. Can I do you a spread? If they spoke, what would they say, Leo? What about that? Because I'm going I'm to let you be the guinea pig for a future uh, reading I'm going to do. If they spoke it, what would they say? Can I do that for you? For an interruption? You're the only one I'm doing it for. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do this. If this person actually spoke their thoughts, what would they say to Leo if they actually said the, what they wanted to say? They would say, you know, only thing that matters is what I want. They would tell you that because they're arrogant. And they would also tell you that they, they dream about you. They, they literally, like, are they working while they're doing random mundane things? You're on their mind. Like, you'll slip. All right. They'd also tell you that their emotions for you make them, their emotions for you make them feel out of control. And they would, like, want to know if you still like them or not because they don't feel like you show signs of liking them anymore. All right. Whether it's what you're posting online or what, even or if it's in person, they just don't feel that vibe coming from you. All right. Whether it's online or in person, I don't know. And they would also tell you that what they only care about what they, oh my. <laughs> Look at this. Oh 
my God. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the ring. You can look, I'm not interrupting this read again. Potato head, please fuck around and come up missing. I done, I done told you about ending up on the milk carton. There's a milk carton out there with your name not on it and your picture not on it. And I'm going to need to find you on a milk carton in the future. All right. I'll see you at the dairy aisle. All right. I'll see you at the local supermarket. I won't feel happy till I see you on a milk carton under the words miss the word missing. All right. Just saying. OK, let's get back to the read. <laughs> OK, here we go. <laughs> Okay, if this person spoke, I feel like they would kind of say, you know, what I, I only care about what I want. But I have a soft spot for you because I've been deep, I've been daydreaming about you. I don't know if you like me still. You don't show you don't show signs of it, whether it's in person or online. They just don't see signs coming from you that you still have a thing for them. So I'm saying, they just don't feel that vibe. They'd also like reveal that they've been daydreaming. That they feel out of control of their emotions for you. They also tell you that they really guard their heart. And that's why they had a hard time letting you in as well. And if they think about you sexually, they want a sexual thing with you, whether they've had that sex before or not. They want it with you. All right. So there is your bonus spread. I don't know if you liked it, but that's what they would tell you if they spoke their words. Could be an air sign you're dealing with or somebody that don't express a lot for me to be want to do that read for you. All right. All right. I'm going to take a quick little break and I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Let's go to Virgo now. All right, here we go. Turn my sorrow. What's the current situation of Virgo and how will it play out?
you have a watcher or a stalker. And the reason why, because they want another chance with you. You also want another chance. You also watch them and your wish is to have another chance, correct? Yes. Yes. Correct. You will have a second chance. If this is your story, you will have that. Absolutely you will. If you're not wanting that in vain, you're not wishing for that in vain, it will happen. You know why? Because they want it too. That's why. Yeah. You're not the only one wanting it. You both, literally, I'm surprised you whores haven't dreamed of each other because y'all both are like so stuck up each other's ass energetically. Could be somebody your age or younger. If they're not, then what? They talk about you to other people. They talk about you. They talk to their friends about you, possibly their family. All right. Even if you're sitting there going, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, they are. They've already, you know, what are they gossiping about? The obstacles you two have. They keep how much of a bitch you were or a bastard. They talked about it to their friends, people they talked to on the phone. Could even be family. How they wasted their time. They tell people, they talk about you. What did this person talk about? Some of you, I don't know if you two have plans to move in together. If not, some of you, they may even like, like, I think they exaggerate things like, yeah, it could have did this and been that way if such and such didn't happen or whatnot or something like that. I don't know if the move in thing is actuality or if it's more so what they exaggerate. Like we could have did this. Like, they, talk, they talk about you to other people. Thanks for the 28, Rachel. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are talked about. Good, bad, and different, you are talked about. What does this person tell other people? Because I got gossip here. Some of you talk about them, but I feel like this person watches you. I feel like you watch them or you try to get information about them. Tarot counts. Tarot counts. Some of you, they feel like you hurt them before they could hurt you, or they feel like they hurt you before you could hurt them. All right? It's like I do get this repeating between you two. You both want this second chance. I don't know if you've been intimate with them. If you have, they've kissed and told. If not, be weary. You know, if you haven't been intimate, then good for you. But some of you, they've kissed and told. They've talked about what your cooch or your winky, you know. If not, I feel like they talk like they, some of you, they talk, they think sexually of you. All right. What's the outcome for these two? Messages, page of cups. Woo, ace of cups and page of cups upright. You're going to have a new start. I think more emotions are going to come to the forefront, which keeps repeating today. There's this repetitive theme of more emotions coming to the forefront in the future. Why does that keep repeating? You know what I'm saying like it's like I get this person revealing more or there's more. Some of you actually I get apologies too. I get apologies, all right? Apologies. I get um, communication. I get emotions being expressed. I get a new start. I'm also getting some of you that have been interested in somebody online or just dating. You two are going to date. They're going to fall for you, all right? Especially somebody you met online or somebody that you're watching that's new that you don't have much history with. I get that becoming like a sexual and emotional thing, all right?
not a bad reading. But I think that you've been wanting a second chance. and You've been getting tarot reads about this person. You may have been watching them. All right. And I feel like your wish is to have that second chance. And I think their wish is also to have that second chance. So you both have that desire. And at some point that will come into fruition where you both have that second chance. All right. Is what I feel. Absolutely. All right, let's go to uh, Libra. And you, they do talk about you. You are a topic of discussion amongst their circle of friends or their family. You have been mentioned. I don't care if you're sitting there going, oh, they can't mention me. Yeah, they have. Don't be fooled. They can't vent to you. So who else are they going to vent to? People they know. Okay, here we go. Whether it's good, good, bad, indifferent, I think they talk about you. All right. Let's go to Libra now. All right. What's the current situation for Libra? What's the current situation for Libra? Curly loops, wouldn't a second chance imply that you two are going to talk? Wouldn't that imply that you're going to have a talk? What is your current situation right now and how will it play out? All right. Current situation is Emperor Reversed. Six of Wands is why it's all happening. And Two of Swords. Some of you could have been an Aries or a Leo that you're ignoring or a Libra. They will give you attention, but it's like, um, I, feel like they're, I feel like they're watching you, if that makes any sense. I know that watching story keeps coming up. I'm also getting some of you get successful in your career and business. All right. Let me for reverse. Some of you are hopeless about your career, but I don't feel like you need, I don't feel like you need to be because I feel like you're going to be successful. All right. I think you're going to be like well known for what you do or just successful for what you do. All right. There could have been somebody that feels like they missed out with you or you missed out with them. But somebody there's a person watching you, like not stressing about them. They're watching you. They don't feel like you're stressing about them. All right. This connection is spiritual. That's why it has such a strong tie to you. All right. And I think for some of you, they're watching you do good or they're watching you move forward. They don't see you as stressed about them. All right. If that makes any sense. That bothers them. How does this person feel about you? Thanks for the 10, Terry. Thanks for, the, thanks for that, Rachel. Thank you so much. Thanks, Snickers. Snickers 05. Thank you so much. How does this person feel about you? Thanks, Bless Mix. Thank you. Knight of Cups. They they feel like they lost it all with you and they still want to salvage it. On a Monday, I farted. And on Tuesday, I sharted. And by Wednesday, we broke up. And I fucked you up. So that's my sign of this person still has these romantic Feelings, but they feel like they lost it all. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups upright. They want to salvage it. They want to do some type of action where they can salvage it, even though they feel like they've lost it all with you. All right. I think they watch you or they see you doing good or not stressing about them. There's no devil at Tyler's Tarot for that person that says that devil. There is no devil here. I don't worship the devil. The devil worships me. All right. That whore worships me. And, and I'm right. Satan, he's right. See, he worships me. Fuck that, son.
get over it. Let's see, here we go. For a person that says no, the devil, no. No, 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 no. Some of you earth sign. Okay, you got somebody that wants, they feel like they lost it all with you. They don't want to, they want you, they still want you. I don't think that they're done wanting you. Thanks, Christy, for that uh, 20. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. But I think one thing that's bothering them is you appearing like you moved on. Whether you actually have or not, that's a whole other story for a whole other reading. I would say that it bothers them to feel like you they, that you don't stress about it no more, that you're getting attention from others, or that you're doing good in your life. They don't like that. It's almost like an ego thing for them, all right, as well. You see what I'm saying? That's what I get. We pull two cards for how this person feels. I also predict business success for you or career success. Whether you own a business, whether you work for a business, I just get career success for you. All right. They're nostalgic about you. They think about the time you two shared, folks. I miss the way you made me feel. One thing that they always go back to is the way you made them feel. All right. And that they kind of nostalgic about that. Somebody here that doesn't want to see you move forward. Whether you're, they're around you or not, they don't want to see you move forward. And to them, it appears you are moving forward. I think that bothers them, all right? Whether you actually have moved forward or not, that's another story for a whole other day. But the way you're appearing is if you moved on or if you're moving forward, all right? Who gives a fuck? Let's go to Scorpio now. Scorpio, what's your current situation? How will it play out? Are you new to the fucking game? That's all that people come here for. Or exes or current people. Get that through your thick skull. What are you talking about? I know you ain't trying to be. Try, I know you ain't trying to uh, joke with me in my reads. All right, don't joke with me. He <laughs> he hell. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. What's your current situation and how it play out, Scorpio? Justice, three of swords reversed. Some of you, there could be forgiveness or reconciliation of a situation, all right? Hermit card. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you so much. I have, I've seen the trailer to that, but I don't plan to watch it. Yeah, thank you, Rachel. They're going to try to clear the air with you. This is clearing the air. Five of Wands reverse justice card. You got an apology coming in. It's too late to apologize. Too late. Hey. Okay. You got burned and battered and not literally, but what I get is it's just like you got burned. Ten of Swords, why it's all happening. Three of Swords reversed, why it's all happening. Then you got the Justice and the Five of Wands, Justice Upright, Five of Wands reversed. All right. I think that this situation is not having drama right now. I feel like the drama is over, but I feel like they want to clear the air with you. All right. Whoever this is. Libra, fire, air. Some of you Virgo with the hermit card. Why is hermit the outcome? I think you're going to withdraw because I think that you know with this person, whether they're new or old, I think you know it's a start and stop thing or a start fast and end fast thing. You don't have time for that. Why am I getting some of you? Do you know how you're getting at them is by not partaking in the drama? I think maybe you did at one point. Now you don't really take into the drama anymore. And I think that's something that's getting them back. All right. If that makes any sense. Clarify this. Some of there's distance between you two. I'm also going to predict travels for um, soulmate. So you two have a soul tie. That's why it's strong. That's why it's unbreakable. I'm going to say, yeah, long distance. See? 
some of this literal physical distance. If not, I just think that it's just distant overall. All right. What is our future actions towards Scorpio? This is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to say it. You have a past life tied to them, past life and home. Some of you, they may try to come towards your home or pop up at your home. Some of you, if you had plans to move in, they may still want to do that. If not, some of you, they've had thoughts about moving in with you or you two bitches living together. Are you living with them or finding a place? I don't know. Somebody, somebody that's darker than you. If not, I just, just take what applies so far. Um, let's look at their... But it's somebody that you feel hurt by. You're, you're getting over the heartbreak. Three of swords is why it's all happening. Reversed and ten of swords. So you definitely got burned in this. Basically, or you're getting burned. Some of you I'm predicting a breakup for you if you haven't broke up with somebody yet. Some of you already went through that or a disconnect. Well, there's your answer. I want to keep you stuck. Let's see their egos in the way. My emotions for you make me feel out of control. It bothers me to see others interested in you. Some of you, they think that people are, other people are interested in you and that bothers a shot of them. Some of you, at some point, this person is going to try to, I'm going to say it the way that it comes up. You have a, you have a past life tie with them. You were meant to meet them to play out some type of contract. I know that sounds kind of hoogie bougie spiritualist, but yours is very spe specific. It's got a reason why you reason why this is so hard to break or to get rid of is because you two made an agreement or had an agreement to play something out on this earth realm. All right, and you two whores are playing it out. All right, and it doesn't feel good. I get it. All right, but it's a past life tie, and that is meant to teach you something. What that is, I mean, that you can find that within yourself. I don't know. Fuck, I look like a, the Dalai Lama. I, I can't tell you the, what life means and shit. I don't care what it means. I'm just telling you what I get, all right? It's a past life, like, spiritual thing. Usually those type of connections aren't meant to stick around. They're meant to show you a part of yourself or something like that. But it's like, um... <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it keeps talking about spiritual like this whole reading is talking about a spiritual tie and you're both stuck on it you both can't release it because it's not meant to be released so easily it's meant to show you things about yourselves this ain't just a one-sided connection this is on both sides this is not just on one side this is you're both feeling this shit this ain't just a one-sided like one person's feeling it hell no all right I do get you trying to distance yourself from this, but I can't discount at some point them trying to either come towards your home or somebody that's going to play out different ways. Or I don't know if, you, if they had thoughts they want to live with you or they want to get serious with you, something like that. All right. I know it may sound crazy, but I got to tell you what I get. All right. Because I truly believe that anybody you meet, you didn't meet by chance. I think everybody's meant to play a role in your life. And that's a scary motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe in incarnation and reincarnation and all that shit, which is depressing if you think about it, that we always on a constant loop. That's kind of scary, but that's one other video. But yeah, that's what I get, all right? I think we've all been everything in previous lives. We've been white, black, Asian, Hispanic, Black and white. We've all been everything. Rich, poor, fat, ugly, unimportant, unattractive, unemployed. <laughs> all right. Got that from a song. All right. Yeah, male, female. I think that's why some people become transgender. I really believe that because I think what they what it is, they live so many lives as like a male. And then all of a sudden they come into this life and they go, why do I have a puss? Why, am I, why do I have a coochie? No, 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 no. And their past life memories don't agree with that. Like, OK, no, no, I'm supposed to be a male or like vice versa. They were a female in many lives. They come in as a male and they go, what the fuck is that? 
And that's why they want to be a woman because it's like, okay, I've lived my last four lives as a woman, not me. I'm the same as in being hypothetical here. Um, I really believe that. I totally believe that. That's why I think people come in as uh, like wanting to be the opposite gender. I do believe that. So who gives a fuck? Let's go to Sagittarius. All right, let's go to Sagittarius. All right. <clears throat> you ever met like a white chick that try, thinks she's black? And I believe this 100%. You ever met a white woman that thinks she's black or a white guy that thinks he's black and they try to act like they're black and they try to be around black people, date black people? And I think that they were probably black in a past life and that's all they know. I believe that. They're like, okay, you know what so I'm saying? They came in as vanilla in this life and they still retain that. So I'm saying? So I believe that. Okay. Let's go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. What's the current situation of Sagittarius and how will it play out? Will of fortune, massive change, good change. Thanks for the, your mother's talking about, your, let me see, your mother here, let's see. She's, she's here, she's coming through. Does she have a tombstone? Yep, that's your mother. Did your mother, your mother's talking about the heart, the heart, heart, either heart necklace or the heart. Did your mother have a heart? Yep, that's your mother. Your, your mother's here, she's coming through. Coming through strong. She's laughing at you. She's laughing. She, okay, I'm not really telling your mother. All right, let's go along with it. All right, go along with it. Okay, you want me to talk about your mother so that your mother's here. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. God damn. I need to say something to you. Your days of being single are limited. Enjoy them. Or the person you're gonna, the person that you're dealing with may commit. Or you're going to be in a commitment, like, and you know how you you know how you gonna know when you're going to commit. It comes out of nowhere. Will of fortune nine? You need to stop spending till you spend too much. Don't spend yourself broke. All right. Your days of um, being single are limited. So whether you're, you already have an option, maybe there's gonna be commitment between you and that one, or you're gonna, like your days of being a single person are limited, all right? Some of you may become single from something and end up in something totally different, like when you least expect it. Some, some way this is gonna play out, but I, the way I see it playing out is, suddenly you end up in a relationship, all right? It's out of nowhere, will of fortune, like sudden change, why it's all happening, nine of pentacles reverse, the card of being in a relationship, so I get some of you falling in love in the future if you're not at that point yet. Some of you, somebody could offer a commitment out of nowhere. All right, who knows? Let's see. How will they know who this person is? The Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords. Do they know them already more than likely? Upright, yes, reverse, no. You may already know them or you're, okay. Or... You know how you're, okay, I don't know if you know them, even though it says you could. Okay, this is how I think that you'll know who they are, all right? They seem immature. They may even seem like the type that's going to be in and out or flaky, but I feel like this person's going to be very direct, all right? And they're very sexual. They may even come off like somebody that you're just going to have a good time with and that's it, but it's actually more to it than just that. Commitment, suddenly, commitment out of nowhere. I 
I don't like how they come off, though. I don't know if you know them already or not. Even though it's leaning more towards you would know who they are. In the case you don't, I think that your person will come off like they're just looking for a good time and not a long time. All right. And that's one way you'll know who they are. Um, very truthful, very direct. All right. May even be the type that's a little bit guarded or closed off. But I feel like you will end up in some type of commitment this year or some type of possible commitment with somebody. All right. Fire sign, air sign. All right. It's almost like it comes in out of the blue. Out of the blue. Like not something that you see. Coming. Not something that you see approaching. You. All right. Clarify this situation, please. Yeah, they're going to chase you. They're going to court you. Could even be somebody that's like darker than you or have a little bit more melanin or tan. All right. I get this person embodies masculine energy, whether they're male or female. They can even be a, like a masculine female or a masculine man. All right. Is what I feel. Why is nine of swords reversed here? Why am I getting it could now in the case that somebody you know it's because they I keep getting the same storyline that they're gonna express more than what they were before. I've been getting that for pretty much a lot of signs today, and that you're no exception, all right. So look out for that. You got love coming in. I even predict a relationship out of the, out of the blue, like find, like your days of being single kind of being limited. Hell, even if you're not like single, single, let's say you're dealing with someone, they could pop the question or they could offer a commitment out of, out of the blue. I don't know how that's going to play out. All right. But that's what I get. I tried to watch. a movie. OK, I'm, I'm done with your read, by the way. I tried to watch this movie called. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, right? Because I always see it on streaming platform, but I wasn't alive when this movie came out. I wasn't even alive during the Pee Wee mania. What is so appealing about Pee Wee character? I watched that. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, it just was so... Because <laughs> I, I, Why was he popular? I don't get that. I tried to sit through it. I actually sat through it. I'm like, what in the hell is this? Like, I have never seen that. I've always seen it, like, advertised on streaming platform. I was trying to watch it. I'm like... What in the hell is this? So, and why was that a big thing? I wasn't even alive when that came out. I, don't, <laughs> so, so, I was like, trying to watch it. I'm like, what in the hell is this? Okay. Um, why am I mentioning this? I don't know. I'm just kind of, oh. Let's go to Capricorn. I don't get the whole appeal of that character. I don't get the whole pit. Gula, where you been? I ain't seen you in a while. You don't even talk to me no more. <laughs> Just joking. But good to see you. Damn. I have a gnat in here. I have a gnat in here. Let's go to Capricorn. Let's see. Where we go. Let's go to Capricorn. What's the current situation of Capricorn and what's the prediction for that? I might delete this read for real because I don't even feel like this is the reading. I just didn't do that great. They're repetitive. They're not given any type of clarity. For you ones that are trying to perfect something or start want to start a business, good. It's looking good. I want to tell you that real quick. If you're waiting for somebody to open up, you're waiting in, you're waiting, um, in vain. All right, at least for now. I feel like you need to kind of Move on with your life because you can't sit and put your life on hold for somebody to open up or to say something. All right, what a hangman. It ain't shit coming through. They're not speaking. You're not speaking to them. So what's the point? What does that do for you to sit and wait? You know what I'm saying? What are four of pentacles? I just don't get them opening up. I get, honestly, what were they, how were they acting to you, towards you before? Emperor reverse. Could have been an Aries or a Taurus you were dealing with or a Pisces. I got Gemini. Why is that? 
Okay, so they rejected you. How, how dare you sit and wait on somebody that rejected you? You're out of your mind. You've officially lost your mind. They rejected you. They acted very disrespectful of you. I don't know if they said some disrespectful stuff or it's just their actions were disrespectful of you and your time. How dare you sit and wait on somebody that rejected you? You make them wait and move on, move on with your life. You don't do that, you whore. So I'm saying. Don't interesting me. Don't interesting me. So they rejected you. They acted disinterested. They acted like everything had to be their way or the highway. They acted, some of you, they were literally disrespectful of you. I don't know if it were certain things they said or did or just disrespectful of your time, your energy, and you have the audacity to sit and wait to see what they do next. Why are you putting your life on hold for somebody that acted that way towards you? You make that motherfucker wait or that bitch wait. So I'm saying, you make them wait by moving on with your life. You do that. You see what I'm saying? Clarify this. Some of you, it's either sexual times you have with them that keeps you thinking about that, or some of you, you wish you would have had a sexual experience. Could have been either or. I don't know if you did or not. Let's tell you what I get. What's their intentions toward you? Dating queen. See, they, they don't plan to settle down. You're, you're an option to them. You're just an option to them. Some of it's their money or your money, something about money. I don't know what that means. So that says it says money. All right. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Once someone triggers me, I run. I don't want to deal. See, when they get feelings, that's why they hop from dick to dick, coochie to coochie, because it's like a psychological thing. It's like a they when they start feeling feels, they run. And you're not the only one they've done this to. You're not their only victim. They catch feelings, they run. Really, all they're good for is a good time, and that's about it. Then they're on to the next. And it's not just because they, they just want they want to be a whore. It's just that they that when they catch feelings, they run. They don't know how to deal. I don't know who this is making sense with, but it's a very direct story. Outcome is still out of holding back. No connection, no reconnection, at least not for now. Cycles. You're just going to go in circles with that. You're not going to get anywhere with that. You're not. You're not going to get anywhere with that. Some of you have another little side story. It says divorce or experiencing a breakup. So it doesn't have to be a literal divorce. I don't know if they dealt with a divorce or if they're dealing with a breakup or something or if they have another connection or you two are just dealing with the disconnect of each other. I don't know. That could be. So that's what I'm getting. Leave it alone. Move forward with your life. Let's go to Aquarius. Very single, eternally single, eternally. Okay. I've only experienced one relationship in my life and that lasted for three months. Worst mistake ever. <laughs> And if you're watching, worst mistake. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's go to Aquarius now. I don't know why Justin Bieber comes to mind or Beauty and a Beat. Look up. Maybe this is how this person feels about you. Look up Beauty and the Beat from Justin. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. 
I don't know what that's supposed to mean. All right, here we go. Aquarius, what's your current situation and how will it play out? What's your current situation and how will it play out? Ace of Wands, which keeps coming out today. You want this person. You just don't know how to go about getting it or getting them, I should say. I don't know if you fucked them already or not or if you have a sexual feeling for them. I think you think sexually of them. All right. The problem is. I think they're a waste of your time, to be honest, but I'm going to tell you what I get. It says you're going to waste your time. Magician reverse. Why is that there? Before I say anything. Justice. It's just like it won't come into alignment. Some of you also, I'm getting somebody's not apologizing or making things right, if that's if that's what it's trying to say. If it's not that, what I get is a lack of messages. Some of you, if this is a new person, yeah, there's attraction there, but nobody's doing nothing. So what can be done? If it's somebody that you have a past with, I'm getting somebody may want to make things right, but they're not doing it. And it says you are wasting your time because your prediction for this is seven of pentacles reverse. So I'm saying that. You'll, yeah, you won't have it all with them if you think that's what you're going to have. Earth sign, fire sign, some of you Aries, all right? But earth is here too, fire and earth. They could have a strong fire and earth placement. Some of you Libra is here too. Because I get you sexually desire them, you're... Um, Why am I getting it's just not coming into fruition? And some of you, like I said, if there's a, if there's a history you have with them, I'm going I'm to put this two ways. If there's a history you have with them, the blockage is somebody not making something right or apologizing or owning up, if that makes any sense. But if it's a new person, what I'm getting is it's not coming into alignment because I feel like there's either a lack of um, confidence or they, you know, somebody's just afraid it's not worth their time or if, if, what if it's not reciprocated? I got two different stories here. All right. Somebody has children or somebody's childish. They got a childish antics. This is a past life connection. Somebody's also shy. Or withholding. I got two different stories. If this is somebody you already know, they might be too shy to uh, make something right or apologize or too, somebody's afraid of rejection. I don't know if I'm connected to your read. I don't know. I never connect to an Aquarius read. That's just not, eh. anyways. If they're new, I would say for some of you, they're, I get this energy of them being afraid you're not wanting them back or that you're not, it's not reciprocated, but I do get attraction there. But I feel like it's not worth your time or theirs really because it ends up not being something that's worth shit. For whatever reason, all right? I don't know if that makes any sense. I got the most strangest. Can I give a storyline that's going to apply to maybe one Aquarius out of thousands? And please don't make this apply. I don't feel like this is everybody. Please don't take what I say. I think that this will apply to one Aquarius out of thousands, hundreds of thousands. All right. So this is how rare I think this is going to apply to somebody. Somebody's race is the problem because I asked what the obstacle is. It says dark skinned person. Somebody either family won't agree with the way you look or yours won't agree with the way they look. Something about the race could be a problem or you just you don't fit the mold of what they usually go for or something like that. But they like you or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's what I got. Like I said, that's why I said it only applied to maybe one out of hundreds of thousands of Aquariuses. All right. But I've, I've felt it and I felt the need to say it. But I think for a lot of y'all, the reason why it won't be a long term thing is because. I'm going to say it. Either they got options. Or you do. But I'm also getting somebody not owning up and stepping up and and apologizing, making things right. But I was I can't. I can't. One second. But I keep wanting to go to the storyline if it's somebody new that they're afraid it's not reciprocated. There's too much fear in the way. I didn't connect with your read Aquarius. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and go to Pisces now, all right? But let me, if this is somebody they know, how does this person feel? They 
feel like they're holding everything inside. They also hurt you before they could hurt before you could hurt them. Hurt people, hurt people. Keep that in mind. All right. If that makes any sense. What about the new person? If it's a new person. The new person's already playing games. They like you to get jealous because it shows that you're interested in them. They need you to show your jealousy. All right. So if they do jealousy games, it's the it's for a purpose. All right. I didn't connect with your read. I'm going to go to the next one. All right. Who gives a fuck? Let's go to Pisces. All right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I tried to sit through that shit. I'm like, what is this? Pee Wee Herman? Because I've always been aware of him, because, but see, he's before my time. So I, I sat down the other day. I was like, let me watch Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You know, I've never seen it before. And I sat and watched. I'm like, what in the fuck is this? What in the 1985 is this? He's weird. He's like, who would want that as their neighbor, for one? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Lay off the coke, you coke whore. All right, so I'm saying that's why I wanted to tell Pee Wee Herman. Lay off the coke, you coke whore, or the meth. Thanks for the 20 divine mystic goddess tarot. I'm like, how I'm like, how am I going to sit through this? But I got through it. I'm like, but how the hell am I going to sit through an hour and a half of this? All right. I like, what the hell? All right. Okay. All right. Beep, beep. I'm like, what the hell is this? Okay. Let's go to Pisces now. Yep, that's the daddy. I just got that in my hair from Miss Cleo. Somebody, if somebody's questioning somebody's paternity, yep, that's the daddy. Or something. I just got, yep, that's your daddy. Because I got that from Miss Cleo. <laughs> Sometimes I get random sayings, but it could mean something to somebody. Thanks, Snickers, Jessica, Chrissy, Multi Hustle, Rachel, Conroy, Terry Fiola, Bless Mix, Christy, Rachel, Case Spalding, Gracie Love, Divine Mystic Goddess. Thank you so much. Happy happy late birthday. Hope you enjoy your move back to Vegas. Or if you end up moving, I hope you like it. All right. Okay, here we go. Pisces. What is the current situation of Pisces and how it play out? What is the current situation of Pisces and how it play out? I get some of you getting a house built or somebody getting a house built. All right, here we go. Well, thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. Your current situation is devil. Some of you may find yourself looking at pictures, old pictures of your childhood and shit, or looking at memories between you and someone like obsessively, or just thinking about somebody obsessively for some of you. Let's see. You're obsessed with something that's not getting off the ground, whether they're in your life right now or they're just somebody that's lingering in your energy. You're obsessed with the lack of a start. I think what's, what's got you obsessed with it is the lack of it getting off the ground. I'm also getting some of you obsessed with how you're going to make more money, which is not that bad of an obsession if you ask me. But tower card outcome. So something unexpected is going to happen. All right. So let's see. Why is the devil here? Eight of swords. Damn, you're obsessive over something. I get you obsessively obsessed with something. I know that sounds crazy. And I get, honestly... It's all you eat, sleep, and shit about. You eat, sleep, and shit this situation. All right? Why the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Nine of Swords. What the fuck is you got the Eight of Swords? Nine of Swords. Devil. You All you do is eat, sleep, and shit this situation. You go to sleep with it on your brain. You wake up with it on your brain. You eat with this on your brain. You take a shit and it's on your brain. There's nothing you can do to get this off your mind. Correct? I just got in my head for some of you, it's the idea of finding love is what you obsess over 24 7. But some of you, it's somebody specifically you obsess over. Really, Bree. Bree, send me an email about that. T Y L E R S T A R O T at gmail.com. I need to get to the bottom of this. Bree, send, send, send me an email and tell me what you feel. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. See you. Have a good one. Thank you. 
You are an obsessive ass person about this situation. You got the devil, eight of swords and nine of swords all upright. All upright. Somebody that's an older man or a woman you think about, or I got a few messages for you. Some of you, you obsess over love, but you're like, I'm getting up there in age. I got to find somebody. Calm your tits. You're going to find that future husband or wife. But could you shut the fuck up in the process and get on with your life and find a hobby in the process? A watch pot never boils, you idiot. I'm going to go off. I'm about to go off. You're a dummy, bitch. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. I got that from Precious. I'm not downing you. That's from a movie. That's a movie line. All right. I think you have a, you know what? If I was a doctor and I'm not, you know what I would diagnose you as? You have a serious case of being important itis. You need to realize a watch pot never boils. Now, I'm going to go to another story here because I got a few messages for you. All right. I feel like for some of you, you're obsessing over a person particularly. All right. And I think you eat, sleep and shit this person. You stress about it 24 seven. It may even be affecting other areas of your life because you're so focused on it. All right. Listen. Listen to me. I don't think you're listening to me. I don't think you're listening. And I ain't finished torturing you yet. Will you listen to the story? Let me say this again. If you're wondering why I'm being so dramatic, let's look at this. You got the devil card clarified by the eight of swords, which is all about obsessive thoughts. And listen, then why it's all happening, nine of swords, which is also about obsessing, obsessive thoughts. It's clarifying the ace of pentacles reverse. I get if it's a person you're focused on. I think for some of you, you need to find a hobby. You need to find a life outside of whatever this involves. All right. If it's a person, how does this person feel about you? I don't. They're probably dating others or focus on other people because it says dating queen. Or they think that you're dating others. For some of you, they how do they feel about Pisces? Let's see. King of Cups. Oh, there's strong feelings there. I was beginning to doubt that. I was like, hopefully you're not the death card. They think that you're, they, they still love you and that they, they think it's over. Some of the reason they haven't did shit because they think it's over. They feel like it's ran its course or it's over. But I'm going to go back to you ones where you obsess over you not having love. Some of you feel like, okay, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I got to find somebody. You're going to find somebody, but watching the pot, it's never going to boil. Do you think by obsessing over it and putting obsessive energy, do you honestly think that's going to, it's going to make you look desperate to any potential? Why not get, why not find a hobby or do your, uh, do something else? Be important in other things instead of the love thing. So I'm saying, if that's what it's talking about, don't tell me what's not true. Don't do it. Don't tell me what's not true. There's no not being true at Talos Tarot. Okay. I keep going back and forth on this read. What is this unexpected tower moment that you're going to have? Let's see. Well, you're going to go into the future. You're going to suddenly have more options more people to entertain. You're also going to also hear from a stalker or a person that's been watching you. You want to hear from them. They're going to come around. Five of Pentacles reversed. And it's out of the blue. Thanks, Basil, for that. Thank you so much. What is this person's future actions if it's about a person? 
hopeless, being hopeless. They they still have feelings kind of in the blues. I think, honestly, you're both in the blues over each other, but I feel like you put way too much energy into this. You eat, sleep, and shit about this person. And don't tell me that's not what you're doing, because you are. If you feel like it's not your story, then go talk to somebody else. Why are you worried about what I'm saying on this channel? Go do you. Stop worrying about what Tyler's doing and go do you. All right? You're so worried about what's going on with me. I'm talking about the ones where you know this is your story. But you're so worried about what's going on with me. Jigglypuff, you're funny. <laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. How does this person feel about you? I want to come back to you all successful. Some of you, there's a little bit of insecurities they had. They feel like they didn't have much to offer you, male or female. They feel like they didn't have much to offer you. I kind of regret it now. What is, what is this horror regret? They regret giving you like this indecisiveness. They know they kind of, I think they regret kind of giving you indecision or the breadcrumbing. Like, damn, I really fucked that up. Are you? I ain't connecting to your read. What I will say is this. There's a person here. I think they're in the blues about you too, but you need to stop obsessing over it like you're doing. Because what is that doing for you at the end of the day? What does that offer your life? What value does that what value does that add to your life? You sitting here eating, sleeping, and shitting over somebody that that you had an issue with. What does that do for you? And I want to don't think that you're don't think that you're excluded singles with no options. I just said I had a message for you. What is it? What, let me let me speak to you. Don't don't sit and laugh. And <laughs> don't sit and laugh. I'm talking to you too. What a good, what value does it add to your life to sit and worry about being single 24 seven? Since you got your, uh, you know, fancy degree and you know so fucking much. Oh, I'm saying I got that from Precious too. I got to stop doing these damn movie lines. What does that add to your life? Does a watch pot ever boil? Keep this in mind for you ones that think that you're looking for love in vain. Keep this in mind when you start going there mentally. Keep what I, If you don't listen to anything I say, listen to this. A watch pot never boils. All right? <laughs> With that being said, you all have a good one. And I'll talk to you later. All right? Bye, y'all. Motherfucker. Gotta get that out. Sorry. Bye. See ya.